Yeah. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Same stuff, never changed up. Taking shots, get your aim up. Yeah. What's going on guys? This is Bad Disturbed back with another video for you guys. Uh, as the topic says on the video, I am Plasti Dipping my car. So no more black for me. Uh, I'm Plasti Dipping it uh, Daytona yellow by the way just to let you know. Um, let's see it's this right here. Um, a little bit brighter yellow than what the car usually was, but uh, I'm using that. And, so, and I'm also clearing it with this right here. Uh, I totally got four cans of yellow and two cans of clear. And it cost about 50 bucks, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, so far, it's looking pretty good. More than likely, probably 75 to 80 percent, I'm going to be doing the whole car this this way. Because as of right now, when I go to shows and stuff with my car, I'm not happy with the way it looks. Um, running wise and all that shit, uh, the car runs great. It's it's never left me, you know, stranded. But uh, as far as looks wise, uh, really can't afford a paint job right now, so. We're going to be plastic dipping the whole car and hopefully it holds up. I'm doing two coats on the bumper and I'm doing two cans on the bumper. We'll say that. Two cans on the bumper, one can on the fenders of each fender. And uh, then I'm going to be clearing it with the, the clear coat I got. So uh, that's what I'm doing today, guys. I started on this yesterday. I uploaded some uh, pictures, like teaser pictures for you guys on the project disturb facebook page if you not following that please like that page and make sure you like it below and there's a uh, link in the description below to take you right to that page make sure you give it a like that way you guys can be updated on upcoming projects because i always post there first before i post anywhere else so with that being said guys let's go ahead and uh, get into the video and I'll show you around the car and what I've done so far. As you can tell guys I'm not completely done yet I'm still working on the on the passenger side fender yet but this is her as we speak. This fender here is completely done it's been cleared. This is Day Daytona yellow by the way but uh Still working on it, guys, as we speak. It will be done today. I'm working on this fender here. As you can tell. But Let me know in the comments below if you guys really think I should do the whole car this color. I'm really thinking about doing the whole car Daytona yellow and uh, Plasti Dipping my carbon fiber hood black. It's over here. Think about plasti dipping this black here and then plasti dipping the roof on top of the car here. Uh, plasti dipping it black and then plasti dipping the trunk black. That way it all blends in together, you know. But uh, that's my ideas, guys. Um, hopefully, I can get that done before winter. Um, once winter comes, I really don't know what I'm going to be uploading, so it might be a little slow, but I'll try my best to um, upload some things for you. By the way, I do want to say uh, I do appreciate everyone subscribing to the channel. I started out with 5 subscribers, and I believe I am up to 26 or 27 subscribers. That is awesome. That's great. I really appreciate it. I would like to know why, how you guys got into cars and uh, what your project is. Instead of you seeing what I'm doing with mine, I would like to see what you guys are doing with your cars. It doesn't matter what you drive. I am a car person. I like pretty much, I respect all builds. Unless you got, you know, some riced out piece of shit, to be honest. But uh, I'm pretty lenient when it comes to... Uh, you know, if it looks clean and looks nice, I'm a fan of it. But uh, 
I'm not one of those guys that hates every fucking car. Uh, I don't really care for camber too much, to be honest, but, uh, I just, it's just not my style. I don't have anything against it, but I just, it's just not, I wouldn't put it on my car because it definitely don't look safe, and I'm a father of two young girls, and there's no way in hell I would put my children in a, in a cambered car, and plus, you gotta worry about, uh, basically speed bumps and all that shit, and if it's worth, if it's that much of a hassle, it ain't really worth it to me. I mean, my car is lowered, but it ain't nothing like that. But uh, if you guys would, go to Project Disturb. And uh, make sure you like that page. It's in Facebook. Send me a message of your car or a picture of your car. That'd be great. We can talk about cars or something. Uh, I'm kind of curious of what you all are working on. And uh, if you have a YouTube channel... Uh, make sure you send it to me, and uh, I'd be more than happy to watch your channel. I'm, I am definitely a car person, 100%. I got into cars at a young age, and myself, I got into cars when I was a, I believe I was 15 and a half, is when I got into cars. Um, matter of fact, I have owned more Dodge Neons than I can probably remember. Uh, I learned how to drive. When I was 15 and a half, I believe it was, or 16, I was uh, taking a driver's ed at the time. And uh, I took my driver's ed uh, course in a Dodge Neon. It was a salsa red Dodge Neon. Believe it or not. But that's how the love all began with the, with, uh, with the Dodge Neon. And uh, whenever they brought out the 2.4 SRT4 uh, neon. Oh boy, I had to have it. Um, but back in 2003, I didn't really have the funds, you know, to go and buy one. But right out of high school, I bought a, I wanted to get, I graduated in 2004, and I wanted to buy an SRT4, but working minimum wage jobs, they would only sell me, uh, a Dodge Neon SXT and I that was the first brand new car I've ever had it was uh, it was red I believe I don't rem I don't remember what co uh, shade color red it was but anyway it was like a uh, if I find a picture I'll post it up in the video more than likely it'll be over in here somewhere or next frame but uh Anyway, I loved that car. And then I happened to lose my job, and then you know what happened. The repo man came after it. We all have a past, I do believe that. But I'm just kind of curious of what your car story was and how you got hooked to it. And send me a project, a project picture of your car. And uh, like to chat with you guys and, uh, and, uh, all that happy jazz, more or less. But, uh, by the way, guys, I want to thank you guys for stopping in and subscribing to the channel and liking my videos and watching me. The people that has been, I've, I've just started, I w would say, probably uh, almost a month ago on YouTube. And I started out with five subscribers, and now I'm up to 26 subscribers. I'm hoping to get to 30 by the end of the week, but... Who knows? But uh, I'm not looking for this to turn into anything. I'm just doing this as a vlog, as a story with me and my car because I don't plan on ever getting rid of my car. I have that strong bond. If, you, if you're a car person, you have a strong bond with your car. And I have a really strong bond with this car. Um, it's like my third child almost. But uh, I... Uh, one of my neons that I used to uh, used to own, if I can find a picture, I will upload it and put it on here as a picture for you guys so you can see. But it was back when the Fast and Furious days. Of course, we've all went through that phase. But it was a 95... 
four-door Dodge Neon Highline, I believe it was. Um, I scored it on Craigslist. I got it for, I think it was 900 bucks. And when my father was alive, God rest his soul, um, he, uh, he helped me with that car. Uh, it wasn't really much anything to look at fancy wise, you know, but we liked that car. That's the car that we actually bonded over. I didn't really know him that well. Uh, we won't get into that, but basically I bonded with my father over cars, not even knowing him. But anyway, guys, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm just kind of curious of how you guys uh, bonded with cars with family or friends or whatever. I know I got friends that help me with my car whenever they get the, whenever they get the chance. They usually don't ask for much of anything, but I usually try to find a way to make it right with them because that's the kind of person I am. I don't let someone do something for me for nothing. I'll find some way to get you back and if you know me personally you know that's the way I am but uh, uh that's pretty much it for today's video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're stopping in for the first time please give it a like and subscribe check out the links in the description below please and uh peace and uh, y'all take care